Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Um, I'm just going to quickly solve this by showing you how to use linearization in calculus to approximate um, anything you're asked to approximate as long as you know what the derivative of the function is. Once you know that you can using common sense approximate what it will be. So this is the calculus method of approximation. You can use it to find the approximation of square roots, of cubes, of um, fourth powers of, of whatever number you want to do as long as you know what to do with it. So let's get into this. of a function is equal to the value of that function at a certain point that is convenient for you which is f of a plus x minus a of the value of the derivative of that function at that same convenient point that you choose. So this A is actually a number you choose that you know works well with arc tangents. Okay, so you have to choose the number. That's why I said you'll use common sense. So you just want to know, do I know the arctan of any number that is not too far from one quarter? Well, there are two options for arctan 0 and 1 will work easily, but which one is closer to 1 over 4? And that's what you want to focus on, okay? Because I know that tan 45 equals 1 and tan 0 equals 0. I mean tan 45 degrees. So if you want to write it in radians, that would be pi over 4. So you could say tan pi over 4 is 1 or tan 45 degrees is 1, tan 0 is 0. So these are the two numbers that we have. So if you try to reverse this so you find what angle this will be or what value you would get, um, well, you want to connect it to the value you're given to find. Which of these two values is closer to 1 quarter? Is it 0 or is it 1? Well, we know that 0 is closer to one quarter so I would I would use this actually that would be a better option so but this is a fundamental law you must have on your mind it's just a method of approximation okay so this simply means if I look for um, a certain value I find the arctan of it so this is why we can rewrite this because for some people this is a bit confusing so I'm gonna rewrite arctan 1 over 4 um, in words so uh, I might as well just write this as arctan 1 over 4, okay? For some people this is easier, okay? So the ingredients we need right now are determining what our A will be and determining what the um, derivative of this function is. So the derivative of the arctan function is given as this. Um, I'm just going to write it here. So the linearization, which will mean the equation of a tangent, okay, the equation of a tangent to this function at, at point A, let's just put it that way, okay? So this will be arctan A, that's the meaning of this expression, okay? Remember, A is a number you choose by yourself, and you want to choose a number that works easily, that you can easily get without using a calculator or checking a table of values and the number is also meaningfully close to what you're trying to do okay remember you're approximating so arctan a plus x minus a okay multiplied by the derivative of this function at a okay so we really don't know what that is until we differentiate arctan okay so let's differentiate arctan x and then we evaluate it for a. Okay, so if you if you differentiate arctan x, it's going to be um, d 
dx of arctan. Okay, evaluated at A, so I'm just going to um, put this here, like this. Okay, so when you differentiate arctan A, so you can see the first line and the second, the first term and the second term are almost the same. It's just that the second term is differentiated and multiplied by x minus A. This doesn't change. Okay, so the next thing to do is to arctan of A. Now, what number are we choosing? I said we're going to choose 0 because 0 is easy for us to know what the arctan of 0 is. So the arctan of 0 is 0. The arctan of 1 is pi over 4 if you're working in radians, which mathematicians work in, or what you call 45 degrees. Okay, so arctan of 0 is 0, so we can easily trace it back because that's the inverse function of tangent. Arc, this is the inverse function of this function. So we just want to know what the inverse of this will be. So um, arctan A will be arctan 0 plus x minus our A is 0, remember? And uh, ddx of arctan, well, when you differentiate arctan, what you end up having, so let's, let me write it somewhere here on top in the corner. So if you have d dx r tan x will be equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared. That's the derivative of arctan. That's something all calculus students are supposed to know. So that's the derivative of arctan x. It is 1 over 1 plus x squared. So now we can plug that in here and say this is multiplied by 1 over 1 plus, remember, we're choosing our x at this point to be a, so and our a is 0, so that will be 0 squared. And that gives us arctan 0 is 0 plus x minus 0 multiplied by 1 over 1 plus 0. Looks like we're going to be getting um, 0 plus x multiplied by 1, which implies just x. Okay, it's just x, because it's going to be 0 plus x, and that gives us x. So the linearization of arctan anything, okay, if you choose 0 as your a, okay, is going to be just x. So we can say the linearization of x is equal to x. Now, what is the question we're trying to solve? We're trying to solve this question. It's 1 over 4. Okay, remember, you can use this for, if this was 1 over 5, this is the same formula because 0 is closer than these values. Now, you, you can change the 0 to 1 when the number you're trying to find becomes closer to 1 than to 0. Okay, so at this point, the linearization of x will be x, just x itself. So we can say the linearization of 1 over 4 using arctan will be, so this implies that linearization of 1 over 4 will be equal to 1 over 4, which is 0 0.25. Okay, that's how this works. Well, if you use your calculator to find the arctan of 1 over 4, your answer will be very close to 0 0.25. Remember, this is just an approximation, but this is a very good approximation because of the very good decision that we made of choosing 0 instead of 1, which is another option. Okay, you could have chosen one, you could have chosen um, many other options, like if you take root three, that will be 1.732, that's even bigger than one, so you don't want to use that, okay? You want to stick to numbers that are closer to what you're trying to find. So basically, this is the approximate value of arctan one over four. I think actually arctan one over four is two, is 0 0.2449, somewhere around there, okay? So, it's not too far from here, but that's a good approximation. This is what you need. Every time you need to do linear approximation, it is the function evaluated at the number you choose, multiplied, I mean, added to x minus a, which is always the same thing. You don't change this, and then you differentiate the function you're dealing with. If it's a square or a square root, you differentiate that square root, then you take the function and substitute your a for the value of a, and you'll be able to get a linear expression, or at least a linearized uh, version of what you have. Okay, it's always linear.
That's why we call it linearization. Okay, um, that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and um, leave a comment in the comment section. Um, thank you for watching this video. Once again, my name is Newton Okeye, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, don't stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.